Yo guys, what is up? Kills Graphics here and I am back with a tutorial and this tutorial is basically how to uh get a logo into Cinema 4D from Photoshop. Um I just want to say right now this was not uh thought of by me. It was thought of by Strats and I give total uh credit to Strats. Uh you know, I'm not taking credit for his work and his tutorials. So please don't hate uh thanks. Alright, but anyway, here we go. We're going to start off the tutorial, and for an example, I'm just going to use uh, Strat's logo. Um, hold on. I'm just going here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get his logo out of here uh, so I can use it in the tutorial because I don't have a logo made up for me right now. So I'm going to use this. Alright. So I'm going to go into Photoshop file. Open. Yes. Just look through here, I guess. Don't know why it's not coming up. Strats Techno. I'm going to open that. Just make it. Just going to cut out the background for you guys. Now, once you have your logo in here, whatever you're going to use, you uh, have everything. So what you're going to do is you are going to have this, all right? You're going to have it highlighted. You're going to hit Control and click it. Actually, hold on, hold on. That was my bad. All right, hit Control until you see that box, and then click on the icon, and it will select the marquee tool. And then up here, you select the marquee tool, and you go until it has the little arrow with the box under it. You right-click it and hit Make Work Path. And the tolerance, make it 2.0, because anything less than 2.0 will be too sharp, and anything more than 2.0 will, you know, it might be too blurry, and it won't be as fine as you want it for Cinema 4D. So then you hit OK, and it has made the outline, it's a stroke path, or not stroke path, it's made the selection. And now, basically, all you have to do is go to File, and you go to Export Paths, Export Paths to Illustrator, it doesn't matter if you have it or not, you probably do, you just don't know it. And make sure it says work path on there and hit OK. And you save it to wherever you're going to remember. I'm just going to save it as logo tutorial. I'm going to replace it. And then once you have that saved to your desktop, wherever I have it right here, um, go to Cinema 4D, you go to File, Open. And then you click on where you saved it at, logo tut, which is I have it. I hit open. And just hit yes. And then you're going to hit OK. And then here you go. You have your logo in here. Now, the tutorial's not over yet. Um, what you're going to have to do now is you... If you can see here, when I do this, you go to Extrude Nerves, and then you hit the logo to it, and then you drag it right into that. It will not work. What you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to go to Logo to it. You highlight all of this. Right click, and hit Connect plus Delete. So then it'll look like this. You go to Extrude Nerves, and you put this in here. And there you go, you have your 3D text, uh, 3D logo imported from Photoshop, and you just make it whatever. You can do whatever, put on the caps, anything. So this has been my first uh, Photoshop tutorial slash Cinema 4D tutorial in a while, so I'm going to go. Peace, guys.